everyone, this is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh. I'm here now reviewing the Facebook. This is gapping up. It just reported earnings. Very interesting here because I kind of had a feeling that not everything would end up looking like Google did a couple days ago. Google reported and it ended up gapping down on the earnings and, and I thought, you know, between Facebook, Google, and Amazon this week, they're not all going to plummet. So here this is. This is actually a nice bullish gap. It's not gapping too far. Of course, I don't know where this ends up opening tomorrow morning. That's very far away from here. It's not even five o'clock. But, you know, as of right now, this second, at this price point, around 168.50-ish. I think it was up at 169 just a few minutes ago. Yeah, it went over 169, actually. Uh, this is a nice long. And it looks like Facebook's headed to 200. I mean, it looks like it could even get there this year. It's not that far away. The stock has had a really nice rally, um, a beautiful rally, and it's just not doing anything wrong at all. <laughs> so you, you, you see this and you say, gosh, you know, how could the stock continue to move higher? How? It's getting bought. It's getting bought with institutional money. I don't teach the bullish gap course uh, every month, but, you know, I do teach it once or twice a year, and this chart is a great example of what can happen when institutional money wants to buy a stock. I'm sure a lot of people missed the majority of this large rally that Facebook had, because you look at something like this and you think, well, it can't keep going, it can't keep going. Yes, it can. It can. When you don't have anyone selling the stock and you have people buying the stock, then it's going to move higher. <laughs> I mean... The only way that you have red is if you have selling or shorting. Although I'm sure some people in here probably did short the stock, which people like to do when they think it's going to pull back or they think it's going to pull in. You had this little tiny red day here and a baby tiny red day here. I'm not saying this that's the reason this popped on this day here. It was back on the 18th, but it probably didn't hurt it. I'm sure some people were short the stock here that got stopped out in this day, but it really got bought. I mean, that's why it moved higher. So this is actually moving forward ahead of the market. And whenever you have anything like that, it's a good sign. It's a good sign. It's a sign of strength. And uh, Facebook just looks terrific. So I don't know where this opens tomorrow. As of right now, this looks good for a long tomorrow uh, as a bullish gap. Again, I will take a look at this tomorrow because the price point could be way different than it is right now by 930 into the open. But it looks good. Uh, the move this stock has had actually from the beginning of the year is, is, is almost phenomenal. In fact, let's just look at it. So if on January 3rd, wow, look at that. It's even bigger than I thought. 116.03 we open. Let me just figure here. 169.30 was the high today. The stock has moved $53.27 really since the beginning of the year. The stock has moved more than, well, not quite more than 50%. Almost 50% the stock has moved within six months. <laughs> that's crazy. That's institutional money, and that's what I do. I, that's what I find and spot and play. So if you'd like to make money in the market, you can make money in the market day trading my method on golden gaps. It's very specific. It pinpoints institutional money, and I find it using the rating system, which is the 26 points that I teach in the golden gap course. Uh, the class is this weekend for the bearish class. And if you'd like to learn the bullish class, you can email me about that for more information too for upcoming dates at melissa at the stock Thanks everybody. Have a great day.